Beautiful downtown Ensenada. Gotta love it. Got all the horse-drawn carriages. It's uh, the weekend if I didn't mention that, so things are kind of busy. And once we hit the south side of town, I'm not gonna record much just because I know the traffic's gonna be nutty. Say hi to Eric, everybody. Okay, kids, here we are. Getting ready to cross the border. See what it is there in our favorite crossing spot, Tecate. Eric and David are with. We gotta stop and get FAMM, but I thought I'd try to catch the border crossing at least. See how it goes today. Last time we got uh, we got the red check mark of death. Está bien. Okay. We're working our way up the hill in Tecate towards uh, where we want to get on the three right here and we should be out of the busier traffic here pretty quick sorry I didn't film much in Ensenada because uh, it was a little busy we crossed on the weekend so just taking our time I am actually more concerned about southern Ensenada I guess they got the road torn up again Memorial weekend which means nothing in Mexico but it's a Baja 500 next weekend and they just tore more of the southbound one uh, Indira I guess I think is the area south of Ensenada I guess was pretty torn up in big lines yesterday so we'll see what it's like today but this is the way we're heading down, so we're just going to take her as it comes, take our time, enjoy ourselves, and have a good time. We're here. And just like that, we're out of Tecate and into the mountains. Welcome to Baja. We did it so far, so good. All our paperwork's in order. We're ready to roll for a while. I just love these valleys. We have similar valleys in San Diego. Very cool. Okay, we stopped here in the Valle de Guadalupe, little roadside place here. Looks pretty good. Let's go take a look at what's on the menu. It's a chicken place, uh, a fire roasted chicken. Here are the boys. Yeah. There's our chicken. I would really um, It's about right now it's great. It's anyway, our first stop of the day. First stop of the trip. So one thousand. See you in a bit. Okay, we finished lunch. Heading out of the Valle de Guadalupe. Beautiful country. Feels good to be back in Baja. It really does. Really does. All right, we're rolling into northern Ensenada. Thanks for visiting the uh, route of wine, I guess. Roughly translated, how I read it. I'm sure, it's not correct, but close enough. What the Sam Hill is this mother? Doing. Whoops, I guess I had to beep that out. Shouldn't have said that. Apologies. 
so it goes. Ooh, traffic's been a bit nutty here, even on the north side of town. And it opened up now. What a beautiful sight, huh? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Pacific Ocean. Beautiful downtown Ensenada. Gotta love it. Got all the horse-drawn carriages. It's uh, the weekend if I didn't mention that, so things are kind of busy. And once we hit the south side of town, I'm not going to record much just because I know the traffic's going to be nutty. Say hi to Eric, everybody. And uh, David's back there. Can't turn around that far. Here, maybe you can see him in there. Yeah. Anyway, dogs playing in the water. Yeah, downtown Ensenada. We're here, made it this far. And here we've been sitting for quite some time waiting for the construction traffic to thin out, which it's not because it's Saturday. So, you know, hey, we just do what we can, I suppose. Okay, we made it through. Uh, that wasn't the greatest, but uh, we made it through okay. I knew that the road was torn up and all three of the southbound lanes went into one of the north. I learned that yesterday and it's the weekend, so I guess it wasn't as bad as I expected. Uh, really feels like we're out in Baja now. We're past Ensenada, getting into the old wine country uh, before San Vicente. We'll go up in these mountains, there's a military checkpoint, you kind of drop down San Vicente, Santo Tomas, all those little towns there. And we're driving at regular speed, riding at regular speed that is. So all seems to have righted itself. Okay, here's our military checkpoint that almost always has a long line, but it's uh, they pretty much only check going north as far as I know. doesn't look too bad today that's pretty good pretty good all right easy peasy here we are at the El Palomar in Santo Tomas we've been here before there's a little gas station a little curio shop but they have coffee so we'll see about getting a coffee Okay, gang, we got the camera sorted again. Here we are uh, approaching Kamalu in the uh, agricultural valley around Kamalu, San Quintin, El Rosario, starts here on the northern end. Sorry we didn't film a lot in the mountains there uh, by San Vicente, but uh, Having a weird thing with the GoPro where I turn it off and then even though it has like 80% battery it won't turn on unless I actually physically take the battery out, put it back in again, start it back up and then it'll work for a while. So no idea why that's happening but not uh, starting, uh, pulling over to take care of that. Um, we'll just kind of take it as it comes but here we are entering Kamalu, there's the sign and the agricultural valley uh, been a nice ride after we got out of Ensenada real nice okay we're kind of warming our way through the town of San Quintin the bays out there Don Eddy's and Molino Viejo that turns up here somewhere but you can see the five dormant volcanoes out there on the bay Okay, we've uh, turned off Highway 1 and we're in an area called Los Pinos, the Pines. Pretty cool uh, little uh, stretch of road with all these pine trees on either side. A lot of farms again, we're south of San Quintin. This is the way we're headed towards the ocean where uh, the hotel is. 
some pretty cool like uh, tree tunnel here thought I'd share wind really picked up this afternoon so I apologize for any wind noise kind of unavoidable pretty strong wind this afternoon anyway next stop should be the hotel straight ahead right near the ocean we'll check in in a bit okay here we are the hotel mission santa maria probably just uh show you the grounds or something once we check in but this is it San Catin, the south of San Catin, Los Pinos, uh, the Hotel Mission Santa Maria. Look at this view. I'll take it. Nothing wrong with that. It's been a long day. We uh, met up at 8 a.m. at our house. What time is it? Like 6? 6 17. So it was a long day. A lot of traffic, obviously. In Ensenada, we had the border crossing. We had to get paperwork at the border, that kind of stuff. Here, I'll show you the room. Eric's racked out. Hi, say hi, Eric. Oh, <laughs> pretty nice room. Can't complain about that. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, I think I looked at the GPS was 236 miles today not bad it just took a long time uh, I think the rest of the days we won't have nearly as much traffic and stuff to do so we took a lot of breaks I think that's gonna be a theme for the for this trip we'll take more breaks uh, than normal and uh, see some more stuff anyway that's it for today I didn't bring a map so you get spared that part uh, laying things out on the map. We went from San Diego to south of San Catin by the Los Pinos area. And uh, that's day one. We'll see you in the morning.